evening, everybody. How we doing? Good. Thanks for coming out in spite of the rain and the weather. I just want to apologize in advance because I don't have a teleprompter. Uh, you know, my topic tonight is transparency in government. Uh, it's something that Beaver County really deserves. Uh, we deserve a government committed to transparency and accountability. Uh, for too long, officials in our government have ignored our cries against things like nepotism and corruption. Now, just as a, for instance, just a few months ago, the Beaver County had reported that Connie Javins, our illustrious treasurer, pushed to have her daughter Renee hired at Friendship Ridge back in 2012. Now the plan was to have her brought on part-time and then slide her into a real cushy position as beautician supervisor. So what happened? Well, Renee was fired after two months for repeatedly failing to show up to work on time. And when that happened, Treasurer Javins, for her part, gave C.J. Betters, who, I don't know if any of you know, is a large campaign contributor here in the county, uh, he, she gave her a call to uh, get him to persuade Joe Spanik to reinstate her daughter. But in the end, Commissioner Spanik stood with honor against corruption and decided not to reinstate her to her position. Now this is just one example, and while there are multiple examples of corruption inside the courthouse, like uh, Judge Mancini's nephew Brian Netherland being hired by Sheriff David as a deputy, uh, even though he has no prior law enforcement experience, or even Judge Nalfik's son's girlfriend getting a job as public defender, that's not really my point. My point actually is that all of this information and more is available at the Beaver County's website. And in the course of my research, I couldn't find one example of full disclosure from the government to the people about the hiring practices inside the courthouse, nor could I find an example of qualifications or performance standards that we should be holding these people to. Now this cannot stand. We need to elect judges, commissioners, and row officers that will be responsible to the citizens that they serve. And these officials should also commit to posting contract bids online for everyone to see, review, and if they're so inclined, bid upon them as well. And furthermore, if an official decides to create a new position within their respective office, it should be disclosed to the public how much the additional payroll will cost, how it will improve efficiency, or save the taxpayer money. And if the position does neither of those things, then it should just be eliminated. And really, what everyone in office should be doing is following Jan Beale's example. And she's done a wonderful job in modernizing her office and keeping everything online for the public to see. And that is exactly what we need. Folks, what I propose is very simple. We need to modernize the entire courthouse. We need to do away with written requests for records and allow for it online. Sending an email or a fax just isn't good enough. And on the Young Republicans website, if you have any interest in contacting us, you can fill out a form right on our homepage, and it comes right to us. And they're fairly easy to build, and they're even easier to use. And the courthouse should follow the same example. Now, if you really want to beat back the ugly head of corruption, then we as citizens need to push for expense reports for all officers of the government to be placed online. We can't end corruption overnight, but making our elected officials more accountable to us is a great start. Now, I hope those of you in the audience tonight will join me in the effort to make the government in Beaver County more transparent and more accountable to we the people. After all, they work for us. Thank you. God bless you. God bless America.